Hello all, Shredwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, From Within, from 2008. It's from the third year of the After Dark Horror Fest, is directed by Fadon Papa Michael, and stars Elizabeth Rice and Thomas Decker. To start things off, I just want to mention the actors they got doing the smaller roles in this movie, including Adam Goldberg, who memorably played the bit part of Chandler's psycho new roommate on Friends, Stephen Culp from Desperate Housewives, Bruce Willis and Demi Moore's daughter Rumor Willis in a blink and you'll miss it role at the beginning of the film, but most notoriously is the film's criminal underuse of multiple award winner Jared Harris, who recently blew me away with his role in the HBO series Chernobyl, no pun intended. I really like this movie, but as I hinted at in the end of the last episode, I didn't always. In fact, I remember this film being one of the ones that disappointed me most during the 2008 Horror Fest, and yes, I'm still calling it that even though it took place in January of 2009. Although, try as I may, I couldn't tell you why I didn't like it. I just remember that this film had to grow on me over the course of a few viewings. Looking at it now, I couldn't tell you anything about it that made me dislike it at one point. When it comes to the subject of what is not to like about From Within, I am made of questions. It's about a curse that is causing the citizens of a town to kill themselves one at a time, which sounds harsh, until you find out what kind of town it is and why this curse has fallen on them, at which point you're like, oh, I totally get it. This town needs some killing. Also, the ending of this movie that happens during the beginning of the end credits is quite possibly one of the most satisfying endings to come out of the horror genre. This film also gives me heavy It Follows vibes, almost like it's a copycat in a way. The only problem with that is that It Follows wouldn't come out until 2014, a full six years after From Within's official release date. However, it doesn't feel accurate to say that It Follows ripped off From Within for some gut reason. Obviously, if you're a fan of It Follows, then this is a great film pick for you, but I also get the feeling that if you watch The Happening and wish it wasn't a huge pile of dog shit, you'll also like this film quite a bit. As for me, I'm giving From Within a straight B because it's good, but not too good. Join me tomorrow when I talk about the crap fest that is Perkins 14. Spoiler alert, it is not gonna be pretty. See y'all then.